Hello, Archibald Chesterfield III. Welcome to the program. And I'm on the Paul Pluto channel doing paid reviews. And today I'm doing a paid review for Andy. Hi, sir. Asking for an anonymous review. I gotta tell you that you inspired me to acquire a Reverso timepiece. To be perfectly honest, I did not like, I uh, did not look at Jager La Culture Reverso so much before the channel. First time saw it in the Archie Luxury YouTube channel, I said to myself, no way I'm going to like it ever. And six months later, I love it. Take note, Jager La Culture. Archie pulls the punters. I read a story of JLC and Reverso, and it's a great story. I got a Rolex Submariner No Date, bought in 2011. Nice watch. I liked it much, but now I'm turning 40, and things, they're running so fast. Recently, you said at 40, a man buys a Reverso. Here is the question. Which Reverso, as they are all magnificent? I like the fact that I can engrave something on the back. I like the power reserve indicator. Finally, I like the view of the mechanism and duo concept. Can't, you can't always get all and it's fucking tough. What would you do? So he's, he's, the pieces he's considering are a Reverso Grand Date. That's like the one I've got. The Tribute, Reverso 1931 Tribute. Reverso 1931 Second Central. I like it quite much, but uh, more than the later, but not. it's not manual. And you said Reverso had to be manual. A Reverso G Grand GMT. Reverso Duo. Any other suggestion? White gold works too. I've donated £25 sterling. Your taste is superb and keep going with the channel. Wowzers! What? A dilemma. Which reverso would you go for? And I gotta be completely honest with you. That is a fucking hard choice. And uh, I gotta be honest with you. Let's go through it. The reverso grand date. That's the one I've got. I love it. I absolutely love that reverso. The story is I went into Brisbane Vintage Watches. Fred, Fred was wearing it, and I said, Fred, you want to sell it? I'll give you a thousand bucks more than you paid for it. Because he, he buys second hand. He's a smart, he's a very sharp buyer. And uh, he, he rang me back, and the rest is history. I love that watch. Absolutely love it. So the question is. The question is, Grand Date, ooh, that is such a cool watch. It's not made anymore, so you've got to find it on the secondary market, but they are beautiful. Yes, I agree, it's lovely. The Reverso 1931 Tribute, ooh, that is nice. That is a fucking nice piece. I had the Tribute, I actually had the Grand Reverse, Reverso Grand Date and the Tribute. And in many ways, I really, I miss, I miss it. It's gone to a good friend, so it's, it's, you know, it eases the squeeze. But that was such a cool reverso. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. The reverso 1931 second Centrale. Ooh. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece indeed. That piece there. Oh, it is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Is it manual wide? I, I'm, I'm just trying to, uh, just double checking that there. Uh, what is it? Just self winding mechanical movement. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Sorry, it, it's, it's an automatic. Yes, you're right. I, I, um, Okay, that's 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 okay. I, I just double checking. Yes, yes, it's an automatic. And I I do prefer I prefer the manual wind. Yes, that's true. At least it's not quartz. They did make reversos in quartz. 
Uh, what do I think of that if it's, if it, if it's a, uh, an automatic? Look, I, I don't think it's, it's terminal being automatic. But, and it is so sexy. I, I think it's okay. I, I, I don't mind that. The Grand GMT. I think the Grand GMT, that's also an automatic. That's an automatic as well. I think it, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I almost bought a Reverso GMT. I had a friend who, the same guy I got the tribute to 1931, he had the, the automatic and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool piece. Very, very cool. Very beautiful piece. A duo, Reverso duo. Oh, classic, classic, classic. Um, he says, any other suggestions? Well, fuck, I think you got enough fucking choices there. I think you got enough fucking choices there to really set the cats loose there. Um, <clears throat> what do I fucking think? Jesus Christ. I think, to be honest with you, they are all great. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money. Okay, so what do I think? What advice do I give? Well, okay, let's go through that list, okay? For starters, I really think get a steel stunner, get a steel reverso, fuck, get white gold, too expensive, and steel is the correct metal. Whether it's auto or manual wind, yes, yes, I that is true, I did say that, but these are also cool. I think you could pick any of them. What would I choose myself out of that list? Fuck. Fuck me dead, it is hard! I would say, okay, for me personally, I would say Grand Date number one, spot two would either be Tribute, and I, I would equally tie the Standard Tribute or the Second Central! <laughs> and the GMT, that is such a cool watch, it just fucking rocks. Or the Duo. They're all cool, I can't pick it. I'd say, okay, I'd still think the Grand Date is the coolest, but I'm biased. So any of those there, they are fucking cool. Stay away from the Squadras. Very important. Stay away. That's that ugly, modern, sporty version of the Reverso. Pooba, pooba. But all those ones there, any of them are fucking cool. Fuckers.